Right now, returning to the classroom. Where case counts are at this morning as parents plan to protest. Plus, a new COVID relief bill. How much money your family could be receiving from the federal government? It's a mild start on this Monday morning, but by the end of the week, we'll be talking about wind chills below zero. All the details coming up. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good Monday morning, everybody. Four days till Christmas, December 21st already. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. It's flying by, and I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. Groups of local parents are organizing protests today, saying now is the time to bring their kids back to the classroom. Parents in both Verona and Middleton say they plan to rally today to push school administrators to go back to in-person learning in the spring semester. The Verona group says they plan to protest at tonight's school board meeting. The Middleton group is planning to walk to the district's administration building this afternoon. More than 200 people have signed on to a letter sent to district officials in Middleton asking that they return to the classroom. They say in part, they accepted virtual learning in the spring and the fall because of the data released by public health, but saying, now is the time to reopen schools. A spokesperson for the Middleton Cross Plains School District tells us they're aware of today's demonstration, but they have no comment at this time. Those calls to reopen schools come as Wisconsin continues to see a decline in the number of new coronavirus cases. DHS data and county dashboards show an increase of about 1,800 cases on Sunday. That's the fewest number of new cases in almost a month. The last time there were fewer than 2,000 daily cases was November 27th. That was the day after Thanksgiving when lots of testing sites were closed. News 3 Now's data shows the last day with fewer than 2,000 cases before that was October 6th, 75 days ago. However, DHS says only 7,600 tests were done yesterday. That means about a quarter of them still came back positive. And fewer tests are conducted on the weekends anyway. 17 more people have also died, while 36,000 cases remained active. Shipments of the Moderna vaccine will start arriving at medical facilities across the country today. The first shipments of the vaccines went out yesterday, giving a boost to the country's vaccination efforts. Just like the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine requires two separate shots taken a few weeks apart. The second dose must be from the same company as the first. Both vaccines proved to be safe and about 95% effective in medical trials. A CDC advisory committee is recommending older people be among those given priority in the next round of vaccinations. They say frontline essential workers and people 75 and older should be the first to get those shots in phase two. The near unanimous vote was made yesterday. The phase three trial, or the for phase three of vaccination rather, the committee says the priority should be given to people between the ages of 65 and 75, those with pre-existing conditions and other essential workers. It'll be a few more months before vaccines are widely available to the public. President-elect Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, will get the vaccine later today. They'll do it publicly in front of cameras as part of an effort to prove the vaccine is safe. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris and her husband will get it next week. Vice President Mike Pence and Second Lady Karen Pence did the same last week, and other members of Congress were vaccinated over the weekend. President Trump says he'll get the vaccine once White House doctors say he should. Another stimulus check will be on your way to the bank account soon. Congress struck a deal late last night on another COVID relief bill. It includes $600 payments to everyone making less than $75,000 a year, with an additional $600 for every child in your household. Some in Congress say that's not enough, but leaders ultimately decided to settle on the lower amounts in hopes of passing more aid in the future. The deal also includes $300 weekly unemployment benefits for the next 10 weeks. The House is set to officially vote on that bill today. Government officials here in Wisconsin continue to honor the memory of a trailblazer. Over the weekend, Shirley Abrahamson died from cancer. She was the first woman elected to Wisconsin Supreme Court and the first woman to serve as Chief Justice on the state's highest court. She's also the longest serving justice in the court's history, presiding on the bench for 43 years from 1976 until her retirement just a couple of years ago. During that time, she took part in more than 3,500 decisions. Governor Tony Evers, one of the many to offer their condolences over the weekend, he says he was devastated to learn of her passing, adding that her legacy is defined not just by her being a first, but by paving and lighting the way for many women and others who would come after her. Shirley Abrahamson was 87 years old. 604 right now as we check in with Hattie McLean. Hattie, we have a cold snap on the way. 
We certainly do. In fact, so cold that it's barely even registering on this map. Those high temperatures dipping quite a bit for the end of the week on Thursday and Friday to highs only in the teens. Normal highs are in the upper 20s this time of the year. Take a look at our temperatures by 8 o'clock on Friday morning. We are close to zero here in Madison. In fact, below zero in Superior. And these are just the air temperature. Wind chill will likely be even colder come Friday morning. Here's a look at our uh, forecast for today. It does start with the talk of a little bit of snow, but that snow has already pushed out of the area this morning. We're left with just cloudy skies right now in Madison. Our temperature is actually 31 degrees. We have a south-southwest wind, though, at 7. That wind chills are down in the mid-20s this morning. Sunrise pretty late today. It's the uh, shortest day of the year. 726 is when the sun comes up. Here's a look at our temperatures this morning. We are starting off in the low 30s in many spots. 32 in the Dells, 32 in Mineral Point. 34 in Janesville this morning. Platteville checks in with 29. Winds will be increasing today from the west southwest. They'll be anywhere from 15 to maybe up to 25 miles an hour this afternoon. So that means that wind chill will be a factor. Here's a look at your wind chill forecast. Again, we do have wind chills hovering right around 30 through the afternoon hours. So running about 10 degrees cooler than what that actual air temperature is. It's going to drop pretty quickly this evening as well. Skies are expected to clear out overnight. That should set us up for some sunshine on Tuesday. And then as we head into Wednesday, there will likely be a mix developing, changing over to some snow. Still pretty mild on Wednesday, but then the bottom falls out for Thursday and Friday. Take a look at those nighttime lows and daytime highs. Well below normal for this time of the year. We will moderate back into the 20s for the upcoming weekend. Definitely a chilly Christmas. All right, Hattie, thank you very much. 606 now. Authorities in Columbia County say they're looking for what they're calling a Grinch who stole holiday cards from mailboxes. The sheriff's office there says they found a bunch of holiday cards in a ditch in Lodi. They say it looks like someone took the cards from mailboxes, then opened them looking for cash or gift cards. The cards were found in the town of Lodi near Harmony Grove. Officials say you should call your local authorities if you see anything suspicious in your neighborhood. Restaurants across the country are doing what they can right now to make it through the winter, but for some in Minnesota, that means embracing the cold. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz recently extended a pause on indoor dining in the state through January 10th, but bars and restaurants there can still seat up to 100 people outside. That has many firing up the fire pits and heat lamps and digging out the blankets. Some already had heated floor patios that are coming in handy, especially since the Minnesota order bans fully enclosed places like igloos. Restaurant owners in Minneapolis say they've seen plenty of people willing to brave the cold to support them. We asked our team if they wanted to do it. At first, they thought we were a little cuckoo. And all of a sudden, we put it on social media, and people really wanted to come out and support us. Some restaurant owners in the Twin Cities say the outdoor dining could help boost their sales by as much as 20%. Still, they're holding out hope, though, that indoor dining will start back up after this order is lifted. Locally, restaurants here in the Madison area are hoping for your support during the holiday season. Patrick DePula owns Salvatore's Tomato Pies with locations in Sun Prairie, Monona, and Madison. He spent much of the pandemic helping to feed the community, providing upwards of 400 meals a week to those struggling to feed their families. But now his restaurant, like many others, is going through a tough time of its own. So we're going to hear from Patrick coming up in our next half hour. But in the meantime, here's how you can help his business stay alive. If you're thinking pizza for dinner tonight, Sal's is offering curbside pickup or no contact delivery. You can also buy gift cards online at the address on your screen and have them delivered to your mailbox. Well, it's going to be a bittersweet Christmas Eve for fans of a unique store on State Street. Serve International is preparing to close its shop Thursday after seven years. Serve is known for selling unique handcrafted products from artisans and farmers around the world. But as our Christina Laurie explains this morning, that work will continue. Serve was founded in 1949 as one of the world's very first fair trade organizations. And I know many of you have reached out. You've been disappointed to learn that the nonprofit's last physical store location is closing on Christmas Eve. But luckily, this nonprofit is not leaving Madison. Laureen Epps, you head up this nonprofit. First, thank you for your work. Mm. Absolute pleasure. And if you had to summarize up in one or two sentences, what is 
serve. We are a uh, fair trade organization that buys from artisans around the world in 24 countries. And we buy from people who really have no other source of income. Really the only thing they can do is work with their hands. And so they go and they look for raw materials around them and they make these beautiful handcrafts that we bring to the, to the United States to sell. And then income keeps going back to them with new orders and that allows them to have a small but stable income and then get health care and even still send their children to school. And your main goal is to fight and end global poverty. Exactly. Absolutely. And I know that's what customers have been doing here for the past seven-ish years, mm -hmm. shopping here at this mm -hmm. physical store. But you're not leaving all together. Yeah. What's happening? No, sadly our store is, is closing here and we've been so grateful to our Madison community for supporting the store. But we still have an online website and we have catalogs. We actually put out numerous catalogs every year. Um, and so people can go on to serve.org and they can just start shopping right on the website or they can get onto our mailing list to receive some of our catalogs and we'll send those out. And we, we we hope customers here from Madison continue to support us because they've been so important. Us too, and we're going to talk more about the work that your organization does and why, especially this year, it's so important to support that moving forward into 2021 as well. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Christina. If you know a person or an organization making a difference in the Madison area, let us know about it. We might feature them on an upcoming segment. Just email us, tips at channel3000.com. 610 coming up the Badgers are bull bound once again who they'll face and when you can watch and later consumer reports is helping you with any last minute gift shopping that you're doing with tech gifts under 50 bucks stay with us the OBGYN team at Associated Physicians wants you to know that we are here to focus on you call us for an appointment today at 233-9746 What you see is important to you. How you see is important to us. We're Shop Co Optical. You'll see. Updating your home? Looking for that fresh new piece? See what's in store at Habitat Restore Dane County. Discover one of a kind finds and discounts on appliances, furniture, and building supplies. Whatever your project, do yourself a favor and visit Habitat Restore. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving and other benefits like emergency roadside service, which comes in handy no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness is a place where you can relax, be pampered, and revitalize your life in a safe and tranquil environment. Our guest safety and comfort is our top priority. Revitalize yourself at Needed Relief today and give the gift of wellness to those you love with a Needed Relief gift card available now online. It's exactly what we all need. Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness, Madison's world-class wellness spa. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The Ceramides and V. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. V. now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Do you have dry, cracked hands from constant washing, cold weather, and hard work? Try O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's Lip Repair. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. It was the holiday season, and as is often the case, magic was found in an unlikely place. Molly tried her best to make introductions. Dad couldn't see past his grown-up assumptions. But thanks to fresh ham and warm apple pie, Dad was finally able to see with fresh eyes. With the freshest assortment to make everyone's faves, the happiest holidays start with Pick and Save. Before you make plans, download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app. 
All right, we're back 614. Starting today, the Big Ten is adjusting its COVID-19 guidelines. The league says athletes in all sports who test positive for the virus will be required to miss a minimum of 17 days. That is down from the old guidelines of 21 days. Those who test positive will still have to go through extensive cardiac testing and get clearance from team doctors before they can return to competition. That could end up helping out the Badgers football team. They are headed to a bowl game for the 19th year in a row. That's the third longest streak in the country right now. They'll be taking on Wake Forest in the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Uh, that used to be the Belk Bowl. It'll be played in Charlotte on December 30th. Kickoff is set for 11 a.m. Central on ESPN. The Badgers had won five straight bowl games. Hate to bring it up before that loss in the Rolls Bowl last year by a point. Yeah, that was a tough one. All right, the Badgers are going to be losing one of their quarterbacks off the depth chart before that bowl game. Jack Cohn is leaving the program, announcing his plans to transfer to a different school next year. Cohn was the team's starting quarterback during last year's Rose Bowl run, but hurt his foot before this season got underway. That allowed freshman Graham Mertz to take over. Coach Paul Christ thanked Cohn for his time in Madison yesterday, saying the New York native represented Wisconsin with class, both on and off the field. Meanwhile, a familiar face is returning to the Big Ten. Remember this guy, former Badgers football coach Brett Bielema. He would just name the new head coach at the University of Illinois. Bielema left the Badgers in 2012 after winning three Big Ten titles to take a job at Arkansas. His time there did not go as well. He was fired after 2017. He spent the last few years working as an assistant in the NFL. He arrived in Champaign yesterday and says it's good to be back in the Big Ten. Obviously uh, had a lot of success here in this league. Um, had, had some very good success at Arkansas as well, but uh, obviously transition happened there, and now I know I'm a prepared coach that's uh, seen a few good things, seen some bad things, and, and uh, you know learned from life's experiences. So those scars are good, and, and hopefully that's going to make us even more prepared for this opportunity. The first time the Badgers will get to face off against Bielema will be October 23rd in Champaign. All right, it is time now to check in with Miss Hattie McLean. Hey, Hattie, how are you this morning? Good morning, Chris. Not bad. It's a pretty quiet start. I was hoping to see a bit more snow on the ground here in Madison, at least a dusting, but really not a lot happening here snow-wise. Take a look outside from the Edgewater Sky Camera. Still so dark, can't see anything. We have cloudy skies right now. It is the winter solstice today, the shortest day of the year, the day with the least amount of daylight. Today, the sun rises at 726 this morning and sets at 425. But after today, the days start getting longer. And in a month, we'll add about 30 minutes of daylight to our days. By March 14th, that's the day that we spring ahead or turn the clocks forward. We'll add almost three hours. And June 21st, of course, the longest day of the year, we're going to add almost six and a half hours of daylight between now and then. Well, don't get too excited just yet though. There is very little change in day length right now as we ha head into the solstice and a couple of weeks right after the solstice. But heading into the middle of January, that's when we'll definitely start to see those days get longer. Now our almanac for the day today, at least it's mild, 39 is the forecast high. Our normal high is 28, so we're over 10 degrees above normal today. A look at the uh, Doppler track this morning and it shows you a narrow band of snow that's pretty quickly working its way through the Badger State and has already moved through our viewing area, uh, leaving just a dusting in its wake in a few spots. The most likely place that you'll see that accumulation is to the north. Temperatures this morning, even when you look to the north, it really doesn't cool down that much. Eau Claire and La Crosse are actually warmer than we are here in Madison, so superior, 32 degrees. Green Bay is at 31. Here in Madison, we start the day at 31. Our bus stop weather forecast has temperatures that will be mild this morning. Keep in mind, we may see a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, but it will be windy. Those mild temperatures may not feel quite that warm when you factor in the wind today. And again, coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk more about the holiday forecast and what that means for us here in southern Wisconsin. Just another chance, one more chance for some precipitation. Hey, a little snow. That's what I like to hear, Hattie. Thank you very much. 618 now, the holiday rush already starting despite local and national health leaders urging against travel. The TSA says more than a million people were screened at U.S. airports both Friday and Saturday. That's the first time with more than a million screenings in back-to-back -back days since the start of the pandemic. The Sunday after Thanksgiving currently holds the pandemic record with 1.1 million screenings. Last minute shoppers, this one's for you. In Consumer Reports this morning, we have some great tech gifts that won't break the bank. 
Looking for gift ideas for that someone special? Consumer Reports suggests these budget-friendly tech gadgets, all for $50 or less. First up is the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. This is a great low-cost tech idea for kids. It lets you create user profiles so everyone has their own home screen and the apps that they want. And although the display quality and processing power aren't equal to those of an iPad, the Fire tablet does offer expandable storage with its built-in micro SD card reader. Next, CR says to check out the brand new fourth generation Amazon Echo Dot. The newly redesigned Dot is in the shape of a sphere and our testers found that this version sounds a bit better than its predecessor. And if you're shopping for someone who loves taking pictures, check out Kodak's Printomatic Instant Camera. It's the fastest instant camera of the ones we reviewed, delivering photos in just 38 seconds. The Printomatic also stores your photos on an SD card, so you can print them out again wherever and whenever you want. And if there's someone on your shopping list who could use a little peace and quiet, these wireless noise-canceling headphones from Monoprice may be just what they need. Our tests found these headphones have excellent active noise reduction and very good sound quality. And their noise-canceling feature can be used even without having to listen to music or videos. Ensuring your loved one will have a very silent night. Well, 620 now, a new twist on Elf on a Shelf out of Southwest Wisconsin that's coming up after the break. And coming up in our next half hour, the names behind the numbers. How News 3 Now is sharing the stories of the lives impacted by the pandemic. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. You were always the responsible one. So much like me. Always taking care of everyone else. But this, this wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going skating. We're going to Nana's. Wherever you go this holiday, Chevy can help you get there. Which is why we're making our Chevy employee discount available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. So wherever you go, happy holidays from Chevy. Use the Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $5,800 below MSRP on this Equinox. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? Hey, Megan! Hey! You're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. Oh, you have a down pillow. Here's the problem with down pillows. You lay there, you feel comfortable, and guess what? It goes down, and you got one bent neck. So this pillow's no good, and I see you sleeping on memory foam. Right, right. Well, I'll show you what's wrong with that idea. Okay. Sleep's all about too high or too low, and I'm going to okay. show you where your comfort level would be. So, you know, that feels better. Right, that's better, but I'm not going to sit and hold this all night. <laughs> so every morning you're getting up like, you know, it's not mm -hmm. good. Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. Call or go online to take advantage of my best offer ever. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, you can get premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. That's right, only $29.98. That's the lowest price ever. It feels great to wake up in the morning and feel well rested. It's shocking to me that a pillow could make this big of a difference in my life. Sleep is one of the most important things to your health, and my pillow is one of the most important things to your sleep. Call or go online now to take advantage of my best offer ever. Use the promo code to get queen size premium my pillows regularly $69.98 for only $29.98. Get king size my pillows for just $5 more. It's the lowest price ever. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world is mypillow.com. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us. Take a peek at this stunner. Liz sent this in. She calls it 
A little greeting from Clinton. Some color breaking through the trees on what's been a couple of cold mornings lately. Thanks for sharing, Liz. What does your morning look like? Make sure you use the hashtag when you post your pictures on social media so we can find and share your pictures every time right around this time in the morning. Okay, I have another cute story out of my hometown of Highland to get you smiling on this Monday. Check this out. Ashley Halverson is a teacher at Highland High and a mom to three-month-old Hanklin, who happens to be the one and only elf on a shelf. This is a pretty cute twist on the holiday tradition, dressing Hanklin up as the elf. Mom Ashley then shares a picture every day on her Instagram account. Here are some of our favorites. We thought they were too good to pass up. We had to show them. But you can always follow along over on the Instagram account, Hanklin Dennis. Again, she posts every day. They're hilarious. Yeah, yeah, a little too much milk for this guy. Yeah, we Adorable. Call that, we call that milk drunk. Milk that's drunk. good stuff. That's that's PG TV appropriate this morning. A little TV or a little tree covered in some toilet paper. This one's cute too. It looks like his older sister sleeping. That's uh, Chris, I think that little baby Ben could get away with this. What do you think his older sisters would think? I don't know. That baby's not quite as handsome as baby Ben is. I'll have to say that. Oh, oh taking the I'm gloves biased. off this morning. I'm biased. We don't do Elf on a Shelf. That's one of the few holiday traditions we actually don't do. Have you guys seen uh, the Packers Insta Instagram account recently? They've had a take on the Elf on a Shelf thing. They did Devontae Adams, Tay, on a sleigh. They did I Robert did Tunyon <laughs> on an onion. <laughs> David Bakhtiari <laughs> on safari. Oh, it was hilarious. Good stuff. Hattie, did you guys do Elf on a Shelf when they were kids? little we did up on a shelf for a few years yeah but we didn't do too crazy with it I never made any messes that I had to clean up with our elf just hiding him around the house well if you are doing up on a shelf it's a good morning to be inside this morning we've had just a little bit of light snow across parts of southern Wisconsin hardly any accumulation though temperatures are in the 30s right now 31 here in Madison it is going to be a little bit windy this afternoon take a look at this pet walk forecast though a dog named Hattie News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This Christmas, Fleet Farm has every gift for every list. Don't miss the biggest last-minute deals on everything your loved ones are big into. Like for the person who's big into hosting, Fleet Farm holiday snack trays are 25% off our low fleet price. Or for someone who's big into being cozy, slippers for the family are all 25% off our low fleet price. So hurry in for these red-hot deals on last-minute gifts. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. protect what's important to you from COVID-19, you help protect everyone in Wisconsin. Learn how you can stop the spread at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash COVID-19. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides in CeraV. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. CeraV, now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. of home is worth sharing. So I can get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements? Yep, all season long. And do I have to get the most expensive plan? Nope, no plan restrictions. Okay, but we have to trade in our phones. Right? Right? Nope, keep your phones. Did you trade free phones? Yep, the latest phone's free for you. Okay. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get the latest phones free, available all season long with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular, upgrade to fair. Let's get to it, America. Because joy doesn't just happen, you make it happen. And during the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event, we're helping you make even more joy. Come get the best deals of the season with offers on select Ford SUVs and Ford Fusion. Everything you need to make the holidays brighter than ever. That's how we're making joy this season. How will you? Get escape with 0 for 66 financing plus 1500 cash and 2000 trade assist during the final days of the Built for the Holidays sales event. In 1912, Leon L. 
Paul Dean sold his first batch of 100 boats, 90 of them leaked. He refunded every pair and then perfected them. Because if it wasn't comfortable, he didn't want people to have it. This holiday season, we want to help you give the warmest, coziest, longest lasting gifts on earth and make you feel more comfortable than you have in a long, long time. A new stimulus bill could be passed today. Why it poses a risk to our local testing sites and how it could improve your internet access. And local restaurants have been giving back to our communities for years. Now they're asking for us to return the favor. Our holiday helping series continues today. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good Monday morning, everybody. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Chris Stanford. Josh Breider has the week off. And developing right now, local hospitals are getting ready to accept new shipments of Moderna's COVID vaccine. Doses could arrive as soon as today. Nearly 6 million doses are going out this morning, in addition to 2 million more of Pfizer's doses. Moderna's vaccine doesn't have to be stored in ultra-cold freezers like Pfizer's need. This makes Moderna's shots more accessible to people in rural communities. It's also the vaccine that will be given to people living and working in assisted living facilities across the state. CVS says it'll start giving those vaccinations exactly a week from today in nearly 2,000 homes. Wisconsin will need to figure out how they can keep free COVID testing available to its residents since the stimulus plan adopted by U.S. Senators doesn't include aid for states. Lawmakers in D.C. reached an agreement late last night on the $900 billion pandemic relief bill. It doesn't include any direct aid to state or local governments. And since Wisconsin's legislature has decided not to pass its own pandemic plan before the new year, that puts the state's free community test sites, like the one at the Alliant Energy Center, at risk. Now here's what that bill does include. If it's approved, you will get a $600 check if you make under $75,000 a year. If you make more, the check will be smaller or you might not get anything just like the last stimulus. People could also get $300 weekly federal unemployment payments through mid-March. This bill would also reopen the Paycheck Protection Program so small businesses can apply for a second loan, and it could extend eviction protections by a month until January 31st. The House and the Senate are expected to pass that bill today. It will then go to President Trump's desk for his signature. The bill could also give you another $50 a month to put toward getting better internet service. Lawmakers are including $7 billion in funding for broadband internet access. The big portion of that does include monthly benefits for low-income families. The rest will go toward other efforts to improve broadband access. As we've been reporting, that access is crucial right now as families are increasingly relying more on internet for school and work during the pandemic. Wisconsin already lags behind the national average in broadband coverage. An estimated 43% of the state's rural residents don't have access to high-speed internet. Some more promising statistics on the virus's spread in Wisconsin. The state is reporting its fewest number of cases in nearly a month. DHS and county dashboards confirm roughly 1,800 new cases yesterday. The last day with fewer than 2,000 cases in a day was the day after Thanksgiving when many sites were closed. Now, this doesn't mean the virus is going away anytime soon. Fewer people got tested over the weekend, and a quarter of those tests came back positive. That means the virus is still spreading, and your risk of exposure is still very high. A Verona woman is saying thank you to her healthcare heroes this Christmas. Cindy Yeager and her team of helpers are assembling 300 boxes filled with self-care items for ER nurses in the Madison area. The gifts are personal to Cindy. Her cousin Christine inspired the idea. Christine was an ER nurse in Chicago. She died from COVID-19 the day after Thanksgiving. Now Cindy wants our nurses to know they're appreciated this holiday season. In honor and recognition of Christine, we have put together um, self-care gift boxes uh, that we'll be delivering to all of the ER nurses in the Madison community area. The boxes will be delivered to hospitals starting tomorrow. With vaccines on the way to the general public, a lot of people are feeling hopeful, but for some, vaccines have come a bit late. Dana Boyle's parents got the virus a few months ago. Her father survived, but her mother did not. To her, here's what she has to say about the vaccines. 
selfishly, it's the first thing I thought of is, wow, just a few months later and 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 maybe my parents could have been helped. But um, it, it's, it really is that dim light at the end of the tunnel. I think we still have a road ahead of us, but um, it, it's, it's really comforting to know that we're taking those next steps. We ask you to join us tonight on News 3 Now for a special report, Names Behind the Numbers. Eric Franke and Susan Simon talked to Boyle and others in our area who've lost someone important to them this year or battled COVID-19 themselves, including our very own Gary Canalti. That special will air tonight on WISC starting at 7 o'clock. 6.34 right now as we check in with Hattie McLean. Hattie, we have a big cold snap on the way. We certainly do. Things are going to cool down for the Christmas holiday, but right now, actually a pretty mild start to the day. I've been watching some snow push through the area. Really didn't see anything here in Madison. There may be a light dusting of accumulation north of town, but otherwise that snow has already moved out. Visibilities have improved, so our forecast for the remainder of the day looks dry. Take a look. Today is the winter solstice. It's a specific moment in time, and it occurred at 4.02 this morning, so it is officially winter winter now here in the northern hemisphere. The shortest amount of daylight occurs on today and if you were wondering in the southern hemisphere it's referred to as the summer solstice. Summer officially starting for those south of the equator. Here's a look at our conditions. It is as I mentioned the shortest day of the year. Skies are cloudy. We're not able to see any daylight just yet on our sky camera shot. It is 31 here in Madison but when you factor in the wind it feels like 24. Here's a look at temperatures elsewhere across the region. Th 28 in Platte 31 in the Dells. Janesville is one of the warmer spots this morning with 34 degrees. Temps over the next 12 hours are going to climb to highs in the upper 30s today, so relatively mild. There will be a wind chill factor though throughout the day. Here's a look at our next chance for precipitation. Starting on Wednesday with our future track forecast model, you'll note some rain pushing into southern Wisconsin. Wednesday is going to be a mild day, so initially we'll see rain. Then it will change over to some snow as we head into Wednesday night. And we may even see a few of those flurries linger in the morning on Thursday. If you're looking for some big snow accumulations, this is not the storm that's going to do it. Likely less than an inch here in southern Wisconsin. Parts of the Northwoods, though, could see two to four inches of snow. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Temperatures will drop quite a bit then starting on Thursday. We're topping only in the teens with those nighttime lows below zero. I'd like to see just a little bit to freshen things up out there, Hattie, before Christmas. I mean, is that is that what uh, could happen? Well, I would too, Chris. We're not uh, expected to see a lot of snow. Our chance would be late Wednesday into Wednesday night, but it looks like most of the snow, at least the accumulating snow, will stay to the north. All right. Thanks, Hattie. Well, for many, it's a lot easier to be active when it's warmer and you can spend more time outside. But the colder months compounded with routines, they are disrupted, uh, dis routines that are being disrupted by the coronavirus make it a lot harder to exercise. Chris Reese talked with an SSM health doctor to get some advice. It's the official start of winter, a season where darker days and colder temperatures often stifle the motivation to be physical. For many, the season of COVID-19 has done the same, but SSM health physician Adam Bulag says you've got to get moving, and there are ways around the challenges of the seasons. There's a lot more online activities offered nowadays than ever before. YouTube certainly has some different dance and exercise channels that can be explored. And there's also a variety of uh, online virtual classes, especially targeted towards children that can still be fun and inclusive and allow them to participate in groups while being active even from home. For those willing to be outdoors, Mulock says sledding, snowshoeing, ice skating, and hiking are a few great options of winter activities. He also suggests maintaining a well-balanced diet and keeping healthy snacks on hand. He adds that the combination of good food and good movement during the winter months will keep your family happier, stronger, and healthier. Now our Time for Kids Recipe for Health team is asking what you want to hear about. Let us know what health topics you're interested in or share your story with us online at SSMHealth.com slash Time for Kids. Chris Reese this morning, thank you very much. We are continuing to highlight how you can help support your favorite local restaurant this holiday season, but one local spot has spent lots of time supporting others. Salvatore's Tomato Pies has helped to provide up to 400 meals a week to people experiencing food insecurity in our community. 
That's 10,000 meals since March. For owner Patrick DePula, it's just a matter of being a good neighbor and helping those going through a tough time. But now his restaurant, like many others, is going through a tough time of its own. When the community comes to us and asks for gift certificates for special events, when they ask us to support nonprofits, when they ask for auction items for their special events to raise money for various causes, we're always there and we always give. And, uh, and that's why, uh, you know, we're looking for you to support us right now. DePula says restaurants like his aren't looking for GoFundMe donations or handouts. They're just looking for you to support them like you normally would. He says it's as simple as ordering takeout when you'd normally consider going out to eat. Now, Salvatore's isn't the only restaurant that could use your support. Lucille, one of my personal favorites down on the Capitol Square. If you've never been here, the building is actually an old bank. It's pretty cool. They're open for dine-in or takeout. Their phone number is right there on your screen. We also have it up on our website, channel3000.com. Another local chef is offering you some high-quality food at a price that will be tough to beat. Little John's Pay What You Can restaurant is doing a pop-up at Liliana's today through Wednesday. They're taking over the entire kitchen at Liliana's to serve up seven soups and four desserts. All they ask is that you pay what you can afford, no matter how much that may be. And if you're able, you also have the option to pay it forward by paying a little extra to help cover someone else's meal. Serve has been in Madison for more than 70 years, and it's one of the world's first fair trade organizations. Throughout the past seven decades, it's expanded its footprint both locally and globally. Yeah, the nonprofit is taking a small step back this week by closing its final physical store, but its work will continue. Here's News 3 Now's Christina Laurie. When an organization has Serve in its name, you know it's doing a whole lot of good. That's why even after Serve closes its physical store here on State Street this Christmas Eve, the organization will move forward with its mission of committing to end global poverty. Laureen Epps, you head up this organization, this nonprofit here in Madison. First, again, thank you for what you do. And I know folks are disappointed that your physical location is closing, but what's next? Our goal is to create sustainable employment, and so that's going to continue to be our goal. We're going to continue to buy products and bring them here to the U.S., but we're going to do it more through our website and our catalogs. But the mission doesn't change, as, as disappointed as we are to close this store. And again, that mission is fighting to end global poverty. You're giving Absolutely. these folks in third world countries a sustainable wage. I know many people watching this are struggling themselves as well. So why should they give back to serve? I don't know. I think sometimes when you, when you focus on your own, your own problems as well as other people's problems, it's actually a, um, a comforting thing to do, to know that in spite of your problems, we can also help other people. I just think it brings us closer together as a planet. Puts everything in perspective. Absolutely. And last Absolutely. question. Folks still have a chance to come out here because you don't close until Christmas yes. Eve. But any, any plans for the future on possibly reopening? You know, I think we'll always look at it. You know, right now it's difficult. The past year here on State Street has been difficult for us as a nonprofit. You know, having a brick and mortar store is expensive for us, um, but we'll always look at it. We've just, we'll really miss this community. And so we're hoping they'll come to our website, but I think all, all options are still open for us. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you so and much. And again, you have a shot to come back out here and shop at Serve in person. The final day for sales is Christmas Eve. Thanks, Christina. If you know of a person or an organization making a big difference in the Madison area, we would love to know about it. We could feature them on an upcoming segment. Just email us at tips at channel3000.com. Well, you want to keep an eye on the sky tonight. You might just see a double planet. We'll tell you when the best time to view it will be. And later on in the morning sprint, a new COVID strain could be nearly twice as contagious as the ones we're currently seeing where it's spreading right now, and what health experts say it means for vaccines. Toyotathon is on. Now's the time to get a great deal on Tacoma, RAV4, Camry, and more. I'll take it. I'll get this wrapped up for you. I wish I hadn't just unwrapped it. Ugh. Right now, during Toyotathon, you can get 0.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry or 2021 RAV4. Toyotathon is on. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places.
Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I will support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they are not forgotten. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us too, which is why we offer everything to help you see better and look better. A huge selection of designer frames, convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical, you'll see. Schedule an eye exam before your vision benefits or FSA funds expire. Unity Point Health presents Things you need to know about healthcare workers They're real people just like us They have houses and families And they like to eat spaghetti At least I bet they like to eat spaghetti They care for everybody Even people they don't know They might worry about getting sick Their family, their patients Tell them thank you By wearing a mask and social distancing Thank you healthcare workers Unity Point Health Meritor A partner of UW Health Know how much you matter to this world have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Let our expert sales staff guide you to your perfect Tempur-Pedic. And right now, get a free Furniture Row gift certificate when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. News 3 Now takes you inside Wisconsin's COVID crisis beyond the statistics. I just can't even imagine how scared and how anxious my mom must have been. Hear deeply personal stories of people who've experienced it, including one of our own. Names behind the numbers, tonight at 7. Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Download the Channel 3000 First Warn app and be ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. 646, so something really rare is happening in our solar system right now, something that hasn't happened since the Middle Ages. Jupiter and Saturn will look nearer to each other than they have in millenniums. It's called a conjunction. It'll end up looking like a double planet. It'll be closest tonight, just about an hour after sunset. You could see it to a lesser extent each night until Christmas in the low southwestern sky. Uh, Leah, you have a, uh, one of those... Uh, uh, micro, what are they called? Uh, telescope? Microscope? Telescope. There you go. Telescope. I gotcha. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Monday, Chris. I'm right there with you. I don't. I always wanted one. Uh, but they're kind of ex they're kind of expensive. Yeah. Our chief photographer, yeah. I have to toot his horn a little bit. Mike mm -hmm. built his own telescope. He's really big into astronomy. What? Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive man. You next time you see him when people are back in the newsroom, you give him a shout out. It's really he builds some really neat stuff. That's really cool. Now, Hattie, we need Mother Nature to cooperate. Uh, what do you think? We're gonna be able to see this tonight. I know, we have a telescope and we're gonna try and look for it, but unfortunately, it looks like there's gonna be quite a few clouds in the area still at the uh, peak time to see this. Can see it for a couple of nights though, so maybe a better chance tomorrow night. But here's a look at our future track forecast model. This is at about 6 p.m. You can start to see those clouds break up in far southwestern Wisconsin, but still quite a few clouds here in and around Dane County and the Madison area. So we may not be able to see this tonight due to that cloud cover. Again, tomorrow night might be a better chance. I have partly cloudy skies in the forecast tomorrow. Doppler track this morning, I've been keeping my eye on this band of snow that moved through Madison. I watched it move through on the radar map, but none of those snowflakes really hit the ground. There may be a new dusting of snow north of Dane County this morning, but all that snow has moved out of the area. A wider view of what's happening, even in the Northwoods, that snow is moving out pretty quickly out over to Lake Superior and the UP of Michigan. Here's a look at our current temperatures. We're right around 30 this morning, still 31 here in Madison. Boston Bell has dropped to 29, and in Platteville, it's 28 degrees. Our temperatures over the next 12 hours will climb to highs in the upper 30s this afternoon, so it'll be a mild day today, but keep in mind, it's going to be a bit on the windy side, so it'll likely feel a little bit cooler this afternoon. Thanks, Addie.
648. Stick around. The morning sprint is coming up after the break. But first, we want to say happy birthday to Elliot. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Plan a perfect staycation at the Madison Concourse Hotel and Governor's Club. Bring the family to enjoy our indoor pool or reconnect with the couple's getaway in our Governor's Club, serving complimentary cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and breakfast. Gift certificates are available. Visit concoursehotel.com. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The Ceramides and CeraVe. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. CeraVe, now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Do you have dry, cracked hands from constant washing, cold weather, and hard work? Try O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's Lip Repair. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. To most people, the idea of fighting is unpleasant. But sometimes to make things right, it's necessary to fight. Some things are worth fighting for. If you or your family has been injured, you'll want a good law firm on your side to make things right again. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a 1,000 plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Hey! Yeah? I switched to Geico and got more. More savings on car insurance. They helped with homeowners, too. Okay. Plus, motorcycle, boat, and RV insurance. Geico's got you covered. Like a blanket. Houston? You seeing this? Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. The holidays are a time for giving. To your friends. Your family. To your teachers. In that spirit of giving, Chevy's proud to give our employee a discount to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Because giving and giving back is what the holidays are all about. Use the Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $8,400 on this Silverado. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. Plan a perfect staycation at the Madison Concourse Hotel and Governor's Club. Bring the family to enjoy our indoor pool or reconnect with the couple's getaway in our Governor's Club, serving complimentary cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and breakfast. Gift certificates are available. Visit concoursehotel.com. Madison's Top Nurses 2020, Christmas Day at 5 on News 3 Now. It's 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Developing right now, local hospitals are getting ready to accept new shipments of Moderna's COVID vaccine, which could arrive as soon as today. Nearly 6 million doses are going out this morning. Moderna's vaccine doesn't have to be stored in the ultra-cold freezers that Pfizer's needs. This makes Moderna's shots more accessible to people in rural communities. It's also the vaccine that will be given to people living and working in assisted living facilities across the state. CVS says it will start giving those vaccinations exactly one week from today in nearly 2,000 homes. Wisconsin will need to figure out how they can keep free COVID testing sites available for you. The new stimulus plan in Washington doesn't include funding for state testing sites. Lawmakers in D.C. reached an agreement late last night on a $900 billion pandemic package. Since Wisconsin's legislature has decided not to pass its own pandemic plan before the new year, that puts the state's free community testing sites at risk. The House and Senate are expected to pass that bill today, and if it's approved, you'll get a $600 check if you make under $75,000 a year. If you make more, the check will be smaller or you might not get anything, just like the last stimulus. People could also get $300 weekly federal unemployment payments through mid-March. It would also reopen the Paytech Protection Program so small businesses can apply for a second loan and extend eviction protections by a month until January 31st. 
Your parents and grandparents could be the next in line to get a COVID vaccine. A CDC committee recommends seniors and frontline workers should be a priority in the next round of vaccine distribution. This would be the third phase. Seniors counts anyone ages 75 and older. Frontline workers includes police, firefighters, teachers, and grocery store workers. In all, this would cover about 30 million more Americans. Now, once vaccines are made available to more of the public, you could get a free ride to go get yours. Uber says it will offer free and discounted rides to COVID vaccination sites. It will offer 10 million round trip rides in all. There's no date yet for when that would start. A group of parents in two local school districts plan on protesting today. Verona High School and Middleton Cross Plains parents say they want their uh, schools to uh, open the school buildings back up and, uh, for in-person classes next month. They want a plan laid out by January 25th. A district spokesperson says they are aware of the protests, but say they have no comment right now. Health officials in Britain think a new fast-moving strain of COVID could be nearly twice as contagious as the previous. Several countries, including Canada, are pausing flights into and out of the UK because of this. Health officials believe the new strain is what's driving London's latest outbreak. BBC News reports there's no evidence that the new variation is deadlier or would react differently to a vaccine. And breaking this morning, a right-wing extremist will spend the rest of his life in prison for a 2019 synagogue attack on Yom Kippur in Germany. Stephen Vallier killed two people. The attack is considered one of the worst anti-Semitic assaults in Germany's post-war history. Vallier posted a long speech against Jews before trying to shoot his way into a synagogue and broadcasting the whole thing on a popular gaming site. Wisconsin leaders are mourning the loss of Shirley Abrahamson this morning, the first woman to serve on the state Supreme Court and first woman to serve as Chief Justice. She sat on the high court from 1976 to 2015 and wrote more than 1,300 opinions. In 2018, Abrahamson announced she had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She died this weekend at the age of 87. And developing this morning, the Kilauea volcano on Hawaii's Big Island has erupted. It started just a few hours ago inside the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Our affiliate in Hawaii reports the eruption has also caused a 4.4 magnitude earthquake. And your forecast in Platteville starts with a little bit of sunshine a little bit later this morning. Skies have cleared out pretty nicely there, as you can see in our Queenie Radio Sky Camera. Temperatures 28 now with that clearing sky. Still some clouds here in Madison with 32 degrees. Look for variable cloudy skies today. As you head out the door this morning, it's relatively mild. Wind is going to be a factor today, though, so it will feel a little colder through the afternoon. Actual air temperature, though, is expected to climb to a high of 39 degrees later on today. Thanks, Hattie. And thanks, folks, for joining us this morning. Have a great Monday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.